Hello everyone! Today I am back with another Let's Play With video. I've done this once before where I used the plaid stencil for the first time. I thought it would be fun to use the tropical leaves background stencil with you for the first time too. So we're going to play around with this with a bunch of inks. Now I've got like, gosh, let me show you, like a stack. <laughs> you can't see it that way. I've got like a stack. More? I got more. Heaps, heaps of distress or exciting to play with today. And I have also cut out some white cardstock. This was A4 cardstock. I've just cut it into quarters. These will probably suit my smaller cards a little bit better, especially if I'm going to make sure the edges are nice and clean and probably round them as well. That will probably fit better on a smaller card than they will my bigger ones. But yeah, let's have a look-see and get started. I haven't even had a chance to open this one yet. But I have seen the Lawn Fawn video on how to use it, so... There we go, there's the two pieces, and by the looks of it, I know I will get this right soon. <laughs> I did hear someone say that, there we go, lining up the website down the bottom gives you a good idea of where they need to be. Okay, so let's get started. I probably won't go too crazy with the combinations. I would like to find out some perfect combos that I will actually use. <laughs> I want to be able to use these backgrounds rather than just throwing any color at them and hope for the best. So I'm going to try and, I don't know, do some different ones. But yeah, I just want to make sure that these are going to be fun ones that I can use for backgrounds in future cards. I hope that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> Okay, so I'm using just a tiny bit of double-sided tape, not even, just some washi tape rolled up on the back of my cardstock just so it doesn't move too much. I probably won't use my blending brushes. I did find using blending brushes with the plaid stencils didn't work very well, but then it could have just been because it was those thin lines on that stencil that were moving around. But I do have my um, foam blending tools with me today. These guys and I are friends again. For a long time, we weren't friends. <laughs> that was probably just because I didn't know how to use them properly. But yeah, let's give this a go. I don't know, there's something about the stencils. I always wish they were like the tiniest bit bigger just because they don't quite go edge to edge on the cardstock that I use. Oh, what do you reckon? That's nice and leafy there, isn't it? Okay, let's go with that and see how that turns out. Now I feel like I should have kept my pieces really big, but then I also, I just, I don't like wasting a lot of edges and off, off cuts and things like that. So just what it is. So let's... Give this a go. What color combo should we go with first? I can't help but feel like these are going to be fun and maybe something orange. Let's see. What? Oh gosh, I should have laid, the, laid these out a bit better so that I don't get lost. This is one of my favorite color combos for bright colors. And in a card I did recently, I actually did like... Here we go. <laughs> so it's one of my favorite color combos and I've also kind of got like the lighter version of it as well so I might do both but I recently used these in my in my two can do it and giant happy birthday card so I'll leave them aside for now I want to go with the bolder colors I feel like these leaves can be really nice and bright so yeah okay we'll just get started I'm going to start with some picked raspberry I might keep the pink and purple together on this one and then maybe use the teal and orange on the other one and just see how that goes or oh, maybe i should do it that way okay let's do it this way i think this might work well give it a go i'm just gonna switch over my little bit of foam and i guess i'm just gonna start dabbing i'll probably try to cover maybe half of each leaf in one color and then i guess like gently blend it in to the other I feel like I went into this video like super confident in what I was going to do and now that I'm looking at the leaves I'm just like no oh, <laughs> they're a bit scary I don't know what to do they're so pretty though I do love the whole tropical theme even though it's winter here at the moment I do love just the tropical feel it's something nice to think about when it's cold and miserable here okay so I'm just kind of not really even making too much of a pattern with this just gonna make sure each leaf has a bit of this peacock feathers on it. And then I'll go in with, yeah, the purple and see how that goes. So I'd love to know, did you get yourself this stencil as well? I feel like it was probably gonna be one of the most popular ones. It's so much fun. 
I really did want to grab the mountain stencil too, but I think that one might have to wait until the next time I place an order. Just because I couldn't grab everything I wanted to straight away. As much as I would love to, it was such a big release. Such a huge, fun release. And there was just way too many things to grab at once for me. <laughs> but I'm really glad I got this one because I feel like this is just going to go so well with the other things that I've been using. So I am kind of letting this purple go over the teal just a little bit, which is already helping it blend in a little bit. I probably will grab the teal again just to smooth over some of those spots where it transitions from one color to the next. But this is actually doing quite nice. I really like this one. That's looking really pretty there. So let's grab that teal again. And just give it just, you know, a little bit of a push. Okay, I'm really keen to lift this up and see what it looks like. So let's have a quick look. Oh, yes, <laughs> I really do like that. That is very pretty. That is super pretty. Okay, I'm really excited to add this next one in. So, did I, I did have it that way, so this should fit. There we go, like that. Okay, oh, gosh, I love their stencils. I just feel like they're so well thought out. But that plaid one was so much fun to play with, and I'm only one set into this, and this is already fun. I can see myself using this one for a lot of backgrounds. And the good thing about having such hot Christmases here in Australia <laughs> means that I can do tropical Christmas cards too. It makes perfect sense here. So I can't wait to do that. So we're going with some spice marmalade and picked raspberries. So I'm just going to find some. So there we go. Let's give this a go. We'll start with the orange first. There we go, just making sure that each leaf has just a little bit on there. And then I'll go in with the pink and see what this does. These ones, from memory, I've used these two inks a lot together. And they do really go nicely and blend well together. A little spot over there. I'm really excited and I've been looking at um, some different crafting mediums. Things like glitter paste and that. I don't own a lot of things like that. I just haven't had either the budget or the time to really branch into things like that but I've been looking at some different pastes and things and gosh I'd love to grab some I'd really love to grab some to use for these stencils I did use um one of my I've only got like one clear glitter paste and I did use it for my plaid stencil and that was really fun doing that and I feel like a glitter stripe through the plaid is going to look really good especially on Christmas cards um but I'd love to get some for the some different ones especially some colored ones for the leaves and that too i feel like that would be a lot of fun even if it's just like i don't know like a clear shimmery thing to go over the top would just be really nice on some of these just for that bit of extra texture anyway that's just me talking out loud let's have a look oh my god <laughs> that is so cute how funky is that that is so pretty Honestly, when I take that stencil off and look at this, I can't believe I've done it myself. Like, that's how wonderful these stencils are. They can make you do things that you didn't think you were capable of. Wow. I really, really like that. I'm just going to, like, stare at it for a sec. <laughs> okay. I'm going to clean off my stencils, and then we're going to start with a new set of colors. Okay, we're back. So let's pop number two down. I think I'm still in a little bit of shock over how well that first one went. It's so pretty. Look at it. Imagine that with some of that white gold watercolour pigment sprinkled all over that. That would just be so pretty. Anyway, let's get on to the next one. So for this one, let's make sure we've got that little website down the bottom. Might just wriggle it down a bit so we get some of those leaves in it instead. I can hear my son digging through his Lego box. He's so noisy down there. So I'm sorry if you hear that. Okay, so my colours this time, I'm thinking some greens. Okay, so here we go with the greens. Let's load up. I grabbed a few more of these little spongy things. We might start with, I don't know, what colour should we start with? I always know that we should go with the lightest colour first, I guess. So let's give it a go. 
and I'm going to be using these three greens with both stencils. I want like a, a really green background for this. Oh, that's really light. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of this on a bit of everything and then grab out the darker greens and see how we go. Okay, that seems to be a bit of everything. So let's move on to the other ones. I might switch this one over because that is a very pale color. Now this ink from memory, you can probably already see, it's just a real juicy ink. I'm not sure what this one's go is. Let's just see, it's super juicy, too juicy. Let's see if I can save that one, I probably can. There we go, it doesn't look too bad. It's just, yeah, like spilling out all over the place. And if I'm going to be honest, I've said it like a million times, I'm way too heavy handed. So I tend to just ruin things with these little spongy blenders anyway. And then to have an ink that's like that, it's just asking for trouble. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that's looking pretty cute. I quite like those two colors together. Now, I do still think I should do the dark green. I might leave that. I really don't want to touch it too many times. I have a feeling it's going to get all over my hands. So with a little bit of dark maybe on the darker part we'll just see how this turns out with that first green the twisted citron that I used it is quite a yellow green so I wonder if some of the gold watercolor pigments over the top of this would be a nice match to make it a bit sparkly I quite like that. Let's lift it up and see if it looks any good. I feel like it looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Now let's add our stencil. It looks about where that should go. I'll pop my tape down. Okay, and then let's do the lighter colors again and see what it looks like at the end. So let's go back in with our super juicy cracked pistachio. I've got it on my hands again. I quite like these colors together. I think they look nice. Nice and bright. And then with it being green, you can always do like a pop of pink or purple. I mean, like your sentiment or whatever you're going to pop on the front. It won't clash too bad. Because you've really only got green tones that you're working with here. Okie dokie. Add a little bit of the Lucky Clover, darken up some of those edges. Okay, and a little bit up there. Okay, how are we looking? Fill in that little dot there. Okay, let's reveal, see what this one looks like. Okay, yes, again, I'm very happy with this. I honestly don't know if you can go wrong with this stencil. Maybe I should do a wild color combo and try to prove myself wrong there. That is cute. Holy moly, that's amazing. Oh my gosh, look at what we've got so far. I'm only into two, I've only done two of these and I'm so in love with them. They are amazing. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, for our third one, I thought we'd do something a little bit different. Maybe not so much tropical colors, but I would really like to do some blues and see how this turns out. So let's grab you again, stencil. There we go. Um, I don't know, let's just go smack in the middle. See if we can, there we go, and see what comes of this. Okay, so I'll start off with the cracked pistachio. Try not to get it all over my hands. So this is going to be my lightest color and then I'll go in with some salty ocean and then maybe darken it up with some chip sapphire along the edges. Okay, just making sure that every little bit has some of that on there. That looks good enough. 
Let's go in with some Salty Ocean. See if I can get these two to work nicely together. Oh, I do like the way that they blend together. Bit unusual for a tropical theme one, but I can't help it with like my mint greens and teals and blues. I do like to see what they can do. Okay. See, I really like just just where it transitions is a really, really nice colour. Okay, a bit more over here. I do like the base of this leaf. And a little bit over there too. Okay. Okay, doke. Sorry, then let's go in with some of the dark blue, the chip sapphire. See what that does. quite like what that's doing just darkening it up like that oh it kind of makes cool colors with the cracked pistachio as well okay i think everything's got a little bit of every color on it so let's hope for the best <laughs> okay yeah that's quite nice i do quite like that it's very pretty. I almost kind of wish I would put some purple in there, but I do just want to be consistent and see what I can do with these three colors. Maybe my next one we can throw in some purple. I feel like I'm missing my purple already. Okay, let's stick this down and fill in those gaps. I do have like a whole bunch of masculine cards to make soon. So maybe this background would work really nicely for that. There we go. Just ink up on a bit of everything. Okay, and let's go in with those blues again. Okie dokie, and then some of the last colour. Darken it up a bit. Oh, I like that. Oh, I've totally abandoned this little one down here. Little one is like the biggest leaf. <laughs> okay, let's have a look-see. Okay, yeah, I really do like that. That is really pretty. I don't think you can go wrong with these stencils. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, I really do like that color combo. It has turned out quite nice. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Okay, so I went with something much cooler for the last video, so maybe we'll go with warmer this time. Okay, and I'm bringing the stencil all the way down this time so that we can get those leaves in there. Okay, so let's go with some, maybe some orange, and I'm just trying to decide which colours to match up. Maybe, I might go orange and red together, and then the pink and purple, and see what happens. So we'll start off with our spiced marmalade. I do love this orange, it's just such a really good colour. Just make sure everyone's got a bit of this. It's funny because I could do these same colours and then just swap stencils and probably get an entirely different look for this background. Just what I love about them, they're just so clever. Okay, we've done that. Now let's grab some candied apple. This is one of my favorite red inks. I love the color of this one. They just remind me <laughs> so much of, you know, like the sunrise cocktails, like tequila sunrise or vodka sunrises. That's what they're called. They're just the perfect colors for that. Super tropical. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go back over it with that orange just a little bit to blend out where they, these colours meet. Just smushing a little bit in there. I am trying to work through a fair amount while I'm here, so not taking too much time thinking about placement of things. Just kind of going with what looks good, <laughs> or what I hope will look good, what feels good. Oh, they are beautiful, aren't they? To be honest, I'm really tempted to just do... The same. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do the same colours. I'm going to scrap the pink and purple for this one. I'll do that. 
again in a second, but I really want to finish this one with the same colors just because I think this is going to look amazing. So let's line them up, pinch my tape back on that one and see what we can do. Oops, I think I a little too close in some spots there. There we go, that's a bit better. Okay, let's see what magic we can make with this. Okie dokie, and then let's go in with that candied apple again. Okay, and then just back a little bit again with that orange, just to smooth things out a bit. Okay, Ooh, there's a little circle there. Okay, let's see how we like this one. Oh, yes, <laughs> I really like that. I don't think there's been a single one that I haven't liked so far. So we've got the cool tones and the warmer tones, aren't they pretty? I really need to now do some pink and purple because I feel like they're missing out. Let's do that. Okay, this time I'm just changing my cardstock around because I noticed I kept doing it the other way. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that, but I do feel like a lot of my pieces of cardstock, even though they've got different colors on them, they're going to end up with the same pattern <laughs> over and over again, just slightly off. So I thought I might turn it this way, give this a go, see what we can do on a portrait one. I might need to replace my tape in a sec. It's looking a bit ugh. Okay, so I've got some worn lipstick, some seedless preserves, and some dusty concord. These are my favorite in the pinky purple range. So let's give this a go. I'm gonna pop these little things on. Started again with my lightest color. Go in with some worn lipstick and see where this takes us. I love this color as it is, so I know this one's gonna look good. I'm really excited to see this after doing like the warm colors and then the blues. I feel like this one is gonna be really pretty. I also feel like the pinks and purples go really well with green. So if you were to use this as a background and then have maybe like a green card stock for the, oh, I'm losing the name of it now, the Tropical Leaves background. Is that what it is? The one with the leaf frame? Anyway, if you know what I'm talking about, I think these would make a really nice combo. Okay, a bit of pink on everything. There we go. Now let's give this a bit of purple. So we'll do the seedless preserves first. Kind of in between the two of them. I do love this color. I will probably come back with that pink again just because the pink is a fair amount lighter and does get covered up quite a lot by this nice dark purple. Oh, I feel like I haven't left myself much space in there. It's all right. Okay, before I go in with my darkest colour, I will come back with that pink. Just to help it stand out a bit more and blend those two together. Especially on ones like that, that just instantly changed it. Hopefully my lighting's okay today, I just had a thought about that. It's raining and gloomy, but it's also, oh, I forgot to put purple on that. It's also one of the only times I can get something like this done. Oh wait, I've missed it like a bunch. Am I a bit excited trying to get this done? <laughs> My little one is asleep and the not so little one is playing with Lego at the moment. So while the house is calm, <laughs> let's try to get something done. Okay, go in with that pink again. Oh, that's looking nice. Okay, now just a little bit of the dusty concord, I guess, along the edges. Down in the darker parts of the leaves. Oh, I like that. That made it look really nice. A bit more here. There we go. I'd really love to do one of these videos live where I can actually talk to you while I do this instead of talking to myself. <laughs> talk to myself enough as it is. Um, but yeah, there's just not a time during the day at the moment while the kids are this little where they are quiet enough or where I'm lively enough. I get too tired by the end of the night. Once they're in bed, anyway, we'll work on that soon. Okay, there we go. I quite like that. That is what I was hoping it would look like. Now let's add this in and how that should fit in perfectly there. Might grab some new tape because that tape's looking a bit funky now. Okay. There we go. 
screen. Okay, and again, starting off with the lighter ones. It is pretty much the same. It's a bit hard for me to see what I've done here. <laughs> anyway. Okay, let's go in with some pink first. If I haven't grabbed the purple brush, I'll be going in with some pink first. I don't tend to keep these as strictly separate, these little foam blending pieces, as I do for my um, ink blending brushes. I feel like I've got to be much more strict with them because things really get deep into those bristles and then they're hard to wash out. <laughs> so we're covered in pink. I'm going to add some Cedars Preserves. up there, a little bit in there, I really do like how these ones blend together, they are very nice, I think I'm doing a better job of blending them together this round, there we go, okay, yep, I feel like that's a bit better, and then we can add some, a little bit of dusty cold cold in there too. Okay, should we give this a look? Very nice. Oh, I do love that. I even love that look on the edges. Very, very nice. I would love to use these stencils like I was talking about with the mediums before, and even just like a white one on some colored cardstock would look really nice. I might have to look into that. Wow, that is very pretty, isn't it? So we've got like the pinks and purples, oranges and reds, and blues and greens. Stunning. This stencil is so much fun. Okay, so going over these beautiful papers that I have made so far, I have noticed we don't really have any yellow in there. So I'm going to go for like, here we go, a full rainbow. <laughs> I'm going to make things tricky for myself. Um, and I'm not going to separate the colors between stencils. I'm going to try and do a bunch on both stencils. So I know that probably doesn't make any sense. I will show you what I mean right now. So I'm going to go with these colors on certain leaves together. And then these colors. So <laughs> we'll start with these first and do a little bit of blending, not on every single leaf, on like half of them, and then see if I can do the same with the other colors. It's just going to be very squeezy work in here, I think, for a minute. <laughs> I do love my rainbows, but they always get me in trouble because <laughs> I just never know when to stop or I go overboard with things. And I have a feeling I'm about to do that now. But we'll see. We'll see how this goes. So we'll go with some yellow. Put a bit of yellow on these two because they're close together that might be easier we'll do yellow here a bit of yellow on this one down here and maybe yellow for these two and maybe yellow over here okay now with some orange i don't think it really matters if i go over to the other leaves i'm not gonna be that hard on myself i know what i'm already doing is a bit wild so i can't expect it all to work <laughs> bit over there a little bit in here okay so now let's try with the pink and see if i've given myself way too much <laughs> to try to do here I do like those colours together though, they're very cute. I do feel like I'm kind of blocking out a lot of the yellow, it's just disappearing, so I might have to bring that back in so it's not completely lost forever. A little bit in there too. Okay, maybe a little bit on you too. I don't think that went too bad, but it's a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to have to do it again on the other stencil. So I am just going to go in with that yellow again, like I said, just to oh, make a mess mostly. Oh, I realized I'm using the orange brush too. That's probably why it's not working out the way I want it to. So that's on me. Let's now work on the other colors. Okie dokie. So let's try to put this wherever the yellow is, I guess, because it can kind of cover it up a bit. Might just we'll lay a fair amount of that down because it'll blend in with the others in a minute anyway so i am using twisted citron oh, this thing's coming off a little bit um but it does have a fair amount of that cracked pistachio in there too so it might i don't know make a funny mix there okay greens down 
go with our peacock feathers. Okay, and just a bit more of that green to blend them out a bit. Now to darken them up a little bit with the purple. Ooh, I feel like that was a little too much. Oof, this poor little leaf here is just copying everything from the other one. Ooh, yeah, that's a bit much down there. I'm really worried this one's just not going to turn out at all. And it's going to look silly. A bit more of that for there. That's a bit better. Oh, well, best that I make the mistakes. <laughs> and then you can make yours better by learning from whatever blunders I make. Okay. I think I'm going to leave that and not touch it anymore because I'm worried I might ruin it. More so. So let's reveal this and see what mess I've made. Okay. Okay, I'm not mad at that. <laughs> That's actually really pretty. Okay, we'll put the other one on. Let's get this done. I just, honestly, I know I've said it like three times already, but I feel like these stencils are like pretty foolproof. Made for those of us who are a bit clumsy when we're crafting. <laughs> Okay, so I had a thought maybe I should start with the purple and then try to get lighter, but once you go dark, you can't really lighten things up again. So I will start with my Twisted Citron again. Oh gosh, I've got to do the, the pale colours, I mean the, the brighter colours again too, don't I? Let's get started. <laughs> okay, so at least with the second stencil, there's not as many leaves, so it's not going to be quite as much work as it was the first time around. I might do like an opposite like this color is going light to dark we'll just flip it around a bit um and it does seem if i'm trying to i don't know balance things out a little bit that i do need some more of the bluey green ones than i do the bright reddish ones anyway okay and i'm going to do this one in here and then the rest can be the other color combo oops i know that looks a bit messy but we can fix that in just a sec yep that's good Bring this back in to fix that up a bit. There we go, it's not looking too bad. And now to add some purple and hope for all the best. Okay, Seedless Preserve, we can do this. Oh, I quite like that one. Maybe not that one so much. <laughs> okay, just a little bit sneaking into all of these. I really feel like. I need more of that, but look at what I did. See what I mean? I'm just too rough with these things. <laughs> I'm just never gentle enough. I ruin them. I don't know what it is. I know I just like will rip them off. Too rough. Okay. A bit more. Ooh, that looks nicer now. Getting a bit more of this through it actually looks really good. Okay. Don't want to push my luck. Let's do the other colors. Back to these ones. <laughs> Just when I thought I was done. <laughs> nope. Okay, so now we're aiming for the remaining leaves on the stencil. So let's do a bit of yellow. Yellow there so it doesn't interfere with that one too much. There's really not a lot left, which is good. Because this one's tricky and I'd like for it to be finished. <laughs> okay. Filling in with some orange. hard not to touch the, the leaves I'm not meant to go near. Okay, not too bad. That's in pink. Oops, a poor leaf over there. There just seems to be one per stencil that just cops it if I <laughs> try to do a rainbow like this poor leaf is getting at this time. If I grab this one back, I might be able to like lighten it up a bit, but it's kind of gone. Okay, you know what? I gave it a good try. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, wow. <laughs> that is very pretty. Gosh, that is just really nice. Ugh. Oh, I'm just really happy with these. These are looking so beautiful. And I'm allowed to say that because I didn't make the stencil. <laughs> so really, it's not my work. It's just me throwing ink at it. But I'm really, really loving these. These are wonderful. What a fun stencil. If you don't have it already, I highly recommend that you get it. This is a lot of fun and they're all turning out really good. 
Okay, let me see how many pieces of cardstock I've got left. I've got like two left. Should I keep going? Or should I end it there? Hmm. We might give like a purple and teal a go and then we might call it a day. Okay, last but not least, I thought we'd go with something a little bit darker. I'm going to go with peacock feathers, seedless preserves, and then go in with some black soot and see if I can get this, I don't know, a bit more deep jungle looking. <laughs> we'll see how it turns out, hey? Okay, so let's start with the seedless, ah, uh, the peacock feathers first. Even though the peacock feathers and seedless preserves are such different colors, they seem to blend really well together. Okay, I find it's just easier to, like, when they're too close together, just to to make them the same like that. Oh, that's going to be a bit tricky doing it that way. That's right. Okay. Gosh, I love this color. It's so beautiful. Okay. We'll put a bit of this on all of them. All of them. Don't forget any around the edges. Okay, now let's go in with some seedless preserves and see what this turns out like. I know I'll have to come back with that peacock feathers. I always do when I use these two together. And then they just seem to like magically blend into this beautiful colour in the middle. It's stunning. Get the little stems too. Oh, my cat has decided to join us. She's now on the back of my chair. That's nice. Nothing like concentrating and then a creature jumps up behind you. Make sure that everyone's got a little bit. Okay, and then come back with this one. Just to... There we go. See, it's, it's like magic. <laughs> it's so beautiful. And I was talking about, was it like tequila sunrises before? And now we're looking at fruit tingles. <laughs> Goes well with the tropical theme. There we go. See, it's just magical, that colour. It's so beautiful when they come together. Okay. Now to make it a little darker. I'm going to go with the tiniest bit of that. Oh my gosh, I have a cat on my shoulder now. That's nice. Just zero sense of personal space in this house. Okay, now I'm going in. This one's like old and ruined, but it's really tiny. So I figured it might be good to make these darker without using the full size of one of these foam pieces. Just because, you know, black is it's intense. If I go too dark with this one, it could be all over. I don't want to go too dark. But I also want it to just be like a little bit noticeable. Definitely not going directly whoops like that onto the leaves otherwise it just is too dark too quick okay. i feel like i can probably come back with the other colors again we <laughs> don't mind me making weird noises um just a little bit to blend that out again yeah see that was like way too much what am i doing it's okay we're learning here we're gonna use my stuff as a demo <laughs> I'm sure you will do much better with yours. Okay, so just going over with whatever excess is on this to blend them out. It's looking quite nice, to be honest. It doesn't actually look that terrible. But this one is really dark there, so just going to smoosh some seedless preserves right in there. Okay, and maybe a bit more purple. I don't know why I'm whispering. Probably because my baby's asleep, but the door shut. She's not going to hear me. <laughs> okay. I'm a bit anxious about this one. Let's see how this turned out. Let's give it a look. Ooh, okay. That's quite nice. It is kind of the feel I was going for. Nice and dark. Okay. I'm keen to see what it looks like when we fill up this piece of paper. Let's do that now. Okay. Going in with the peacock feathers again first. Giving that a nice layer of that oops missed a spot now let's do some sealers preserves sorry that I'm talking quietly I think I'm just 
speaking out loud, and like my thoughts out loud rather than <laughs> talking about what I'm doing. Again, just talking to myself. Okay, now we learned to be careful with this one just a little bit. Don't go overboard. I don't, I'm not even going to ink up, I don't think. I think there's enough excess on there to do some damage. Okay. Shall we reveal our last one? Ta-da! Okay, yeah, super happy with that. I do love that the proper, like, seedless preserves color does come out in little light patches, but the darkness in it as well is really, really pretty, and it's quite like a striking difference between the green and purpley black there. So there we go. That is our last one. So let's have a look at what we made. Okay, let's look at all of these beautiful pieces. I think ones like this are going to look wonderful with some of that white gold watercolour pigment sprinkled over the top. I just feel like it, that silvery shimmer on that will be lovely. Here we go with some pinks. And with all of these, you can always like add some glitter on the dots or just flick some glitter over them. They're all going to look really pretty. Or even just watering down a little bit of this on your mat in matching colours and sprinkling it over. Or like we were talking about before, the contrasting colours over that would be really nice too. This is really pretty. It just reminds me of like ripe mangoes. <laughs> this is really nice. I highly recommend this stencil. This has been a lot of fun doing this with you today. I got mine from Hobby Hoppers. I'll put the link to it below. Hopefully it's still in stock. I did know that this one was very popular. There is no surprise to me why. I'm only just playing with it now and I have had so much fun with this today. But yeah, highly recommend. Look how much fun we had. Look at all these beautiful colors. They're all stunning. They're all going to make such wonderful backgrounds to my cards that are coming up. So if you see these in future videos, I'll probably link back to this one as I won't be showing how I made these specific ones again in the video unless I decide to go with something slightly different. But there they are. Aren't they lovely? I am going to go have a coffee now before my daughter wakes up and I have to do the rest of the fun mummy stuff until bedtime. <laughs> okay, that's all from me today. I hope you had fun. I'll do another one of these again soon with whatever new stencils come out and whatever we feel like playing with. I'm sure the next release will have beautiful things too. And we can have another let's play with tutorial for that. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love for you to stick with us. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.